Hi, I'm with Hillsborough Community College in the Veterinary Technology Program, and I will be doing a presentation on Demodex. Before we begin, I wanted to get into the taxonomy of Demodex. It's in the kingdom Animalia. The phylum is Arthropoda. The class is Arachnida. The subclass is a carry. The order is Trombidiformes. The family is Demodectae, and the genus is Demodex. For those of you who don't know what Demodex is, it's a mite that is found in the hair follicles and sebaceous glands of various mammals like cats and dogs. If you were to look under a microscope and see a demodex, it would have an elongated abdomen and stumpy legs. Some people say they look like cigars. They are also found in clusters. There are 65 different known species. Unlike other parasites, Demodex spend their entire life in the hair follicle of the host. Their life cycle ranges from 20 to 35 days. Demodex can only be transmitted from mother to offspring through direct contact with the infected dam, which is why we should not breed animals that have been known to have Demodex. Immune factors are important in determining the occurrence and severity of Demodex. Hereditary predisposition is when puppies born to some dams are genetically more susceptible to infection. This is thought to be associated with deficiency and effectiveness of the innate immune system. Parasitic immunosuppression is when normal T cells responses are suppressed by a large number of Demodex. Induced immunosuppression is if a dog given immunodepressant drugs such as a corticosteroid, their demodex can flare up. Clinical signs of Demodex could be hair loss, dried blood, crust, redness of skin, raised skin elevation, itching, dandruff, skin rash with raised bumps. When diagnosing Demodex, you want to take a sample from the area showing the most clinical signs. For a skin scrape, you want to use a number 10 scalpel blade dulled by repeatedly scraping the blade's edge on a hard surface. Then apply mineral oil to the dull blade and the microscope slide as well as the lesion to be scraped. Click the following link to view a demonstration of a skin scrape. For hair plucking, you apply mineral oil to the microscope slide and the area you are going to be plucking. Treatment options vary widely based on the severity of the case and the veterinarian's preferred protocols. For some cases, a medicated shampoo and watch and wait approach is necessary, and for others, a battery of treatment is required to bring the mite population and skin infection under control. For mild localized cases, you want to shave the affected areas, wash the skin with benzoyl peroxide shampoo to help flush out the hair follicles and keep secondary bacterial infections under control if there are any. And for generalized cases, it's the same as localized cases where you just shave the affected areas and wash the skin with the benzoyl peroxide shampoo to help flush out the hair follicles and keep secondary bacterial infections under control if there are any. 
Additional veterinary treatment options are used for generalized demodex, like ivermectin, which is considered the best treatment option by many vets. This drug is often used off-label for the demodex, and it should not be used for collies or collie crosses. Um, you can also use dips as a treatment. Usually those go, go on for a couple of weeks. Um, you can also give ivermectin, which is oral. You give that once per week for four weeks. And then there's also an injection that you give subcutaneously. It's often a prolonged treatment protocol of weeks or months. And the veterinarian would like to see two negative skin scrapings about a month apart to confirm the case has been resolved. Demodex is not hereditary, but it can be passed through the suckling of the mother, which is why breeding is not recommended. Demodex transmission can be avoided by cesarean birth and no contact or nursing off the mother, which is why you should just spay and neuter your pet. The photo you see here in the slide is a mild case of Demodex in dogs. As you can see, the dog has hair loss under his stomach and legs and his skin is slightly irritated and raised. This is a severe case of Demodex in a dog. There is extreme hair loss, irritated red bumpy skin located all over the dog. This slide is a mild case of Demodex found in a cat. It's mild because it's just in one area found on the body under the chin, even though the skin is very red and bumpy. This is a severe case of Demodex found in a cat. Now the skin doesn't look as red and irritated, but the cat does have a lot of hair loss found on its body. Fun fact, humans can also have Demodex mites, usually found on the face and eyelashes. Just think, they eat, crawl, and reproduce on your face. <laughs>